and I've never been west of New Orleans nor east of Pensacola. My only contact with the outside world was an RCA Victrola. Elvis would sing and then I'd dream about expensive cars and who would have figured 20 years later I'd be rubbing shoulders with the stars. Life was just a tire swing. I remember the smell of the creosote plant when we'd have to eat on Easter with my crazy old uncle and aunt. They lived in a big house, antebellum style. And the wind would blow across the old bayou. And I was a tranquil little child. Life was just a tire swing. There are so many creative people in this world. People that touch our hearts with poetry, with sculpture, paintings, lyrics to a song. All words and thoughts and feelings put down by someone else who can stir memories within us. We have all shared childhood. But there is always some creative soul who is able to make us feel better by listening to the lyrics their words that come from their heart to help us understand and to heal our own troubled hearts. Hello again, this is Sandra Hart and welcome to my channel. Now I know what you're going to say. I don't have a creative bone in my body. Well, that's not true. Everybody has some form of creativity within themselves. I bet when you sit down in front of a mirror and you lay out all of your makeup, you can paint that empty canvas and make yourself a beautiful, beautiful woman with makeup. That's creativity. And when you're in the kitchen and you whip up great meals for your family or for just yourself, that's creativity. If you like decorating your house, however big or small it is, that's your creative soul at work. And when you're creative, it boosts your brain power, it makes you happy, and it does a lot of positive things in your life. Throughout my travels, I've met so many creative people. Some of them have been able to really be successful applying their craft. Others have had to take a different type of work, but as long as they still hold on to their creativity and that part of their being, they're just fine. If you paint, if you write, if you sculpture, if you sing, if you sing in a chorus, if you sing in the shower, if you play an instrument, all of these things are forms of creativity. So everybody has a creative soul. And today, I'm going to have a little fun with you, if I may. We're going to help you decide just exactly what type of creative being you are. Because you are, whether you realize it or not. Life is more satisfying when you have a creative outlet. So let's decide exactly what type of creative person you are. There are A-listers, artisans, game changers, activists, and sensitive souls. Which one do you think you are? An A-lister loves being the center of attention. 
an A-lister loves the accolades and the applause and the attention that is garnered by her work. She enjoys being famous. It excites her. So in order for those type of creative people, they have to stay active to be constantly motivated because their work gives them purpose and self-fulfillment and excitement in their lives. Now, if you are an artisan, you love the process of creating to the finished product. You don't care if you get paid for it. You don't care if anyone else sees it. You just love the process of creating and fulfilling your spirit through your creative endeavors. It doesn't matter if you're famous at all. It's just the art of creating that makes you so very happy. I have known people like that in my life. We once had a friend who was a wonderful sculptor. He did all of his work down in his basement, but he never would share it with anybody. He just kept all the pieces of sculpture down in his studio, and he didn't care if he became famous, and his work really was beautiful. But as a matter of fact, he didn't want the notoriety. He was just sculpting to fulfill his inner self and his inner creative self. And that's all that matters. So sometimes there are people like that and they are put under the artisan category. If, you're, if you are a game changer, you always are asking, why not? You're trying to find a creative outlet that is different that goes upstream to what perhaps everyone else is doing. You want to change the game and your excitement comes from being different and trying new things and perhaps setting a groundwork for a brand new type of cooking, decorating, something that is a niche unique to you and you want to change the game about what everybody else is doing. Now, if you're an activist, you are going to use your creative endeavor to change society, to do something to help somebody else. So you reach into the depths of your soul to try to change the world, to try to attract people to you and convince them of the same like idea of the same way to create a movement, to create a purpose, something of that nature would be a creative activist. If you join a cause and you're very passionate about it, whether it's political, whether it's for a social movement, that would be called an activist. Now, the sensitive soul is, again, the person who gets pleasure out of putting his feelings down in whatever medium he wants to work with. I have, each one of my three children, I have put them all in categories along with myself. And... Um, we're all different, but each of us, we're all a very creative family, but each of us falls into a different category. My oldest daughter is an artisan. She just loves to create for the sake of creating. She builds websites. She uh, designs things. She sews. She creates great pages. She now has a blog and a YouTube channel. And she's always been a very creative soul. And she's the one that cut the hair off of her doll, <laughs> her tiny tears, because she was creating something different. So my oldest daughter is very creative. My middle child is an activist. She's extremely creative. She's an artist, she's a writer, but she uses her energy to try to get behind social causes, to make the world a better place 
and to help others. And she tr is very good at gathering people to come along with her to change society. I mean, she does a lot of charitable causes. She's a foster parent to uh, horses and dogs and cats. And she's a wonderful mother, but she's always a great advocate. If there is a change that is needed in her community, she is one of the people that leads that charge. Now, my son, who is the singer and songwriter, is the sensitive soul. He expresses himself through his music, through his lyrics. All of his inside feelings come out through his music because he is so aware of his feelings, the feelings of others, and the feelings of the people in the world. But he expresses his entire emotion through his songwriting. The first hit that he had was the most played song of the year on rock radio, and he multiple, went multiple platinum. But it was a song that he wrote to me, explaining to me how much he loved a girl that he had met when he moved out to Los Angeles. So all of his feelings he puts into words. So I would consider him a sensitive soul. So I have an artisan, an activist, and a sensitive soul. And I have to admit it, I'm an A-lister. Ever since I was a little girl, I loved doing little plays at home. I would invite all my little girlfriends on the nearby farms, and I would write plays, and we would act in the plays. And it was just really made me feel good. And I've always wanted to be an actress. I love being on the stage. I love that applause. <laughs> I, I don't think I have a very big ego, but when I create, I really love the accolades. I really love the feeling that what I'm doing, other people enjoy and they like it. So that is payment for me. I don't need to be famous, but I want, I love the applause and um, I love performing in front of people. That, but that's just who I am. So all of us have a creative outlet. If you go in the kitchen and you're a marvelous cook and you make a fantastic dinner, don't you want people to say, wow, that was so delicious. What is that recipe? How did you do that? So we all can use our creativity in wonderful ways, but don't ever think that you are not creative because you are. I have watched so many wonderful mature women on YouTube who can put makeup on like a pro. They just look beautiful. They do their eyes and their lips. They know exactly what shade of makeup to wear. They know how to do their hair. They know how to put in extensions. This is all a very creative outlet. So everyone has a creative soul. And you need that because it makes you fulfilled and it keeps you happy. So don't ever let that part of you die. Keep it active. Enjoy it. And use it. And don't forget, over 60 really is the best time of our lives. Whatever your creative category is, whatever is in your creative soul, use it before you lose it. Take care. Thank you for joining me today, and I really hope you subscribe. Just push the button below, and if you want to be notified if I have any other, when my videos come out, just push the little bell below. Thank you so much for joining me from the bottom of my heart. I really love having each and every one of you with me every time that I put up a video. Let's all go on this wonderful adventure together. Thank you, and please have a great, great day, and I hope to see you soon.